Hey everybody, Ryan from Rhino Hockey Channel here. Alright, going to be going over a preview of the Stanley Cup Finals, which is between Tampa Bay Lightning and the Montreal Canadiens. And I was wrong on both my predictions last time around. I picked New York Islanders in 7, which I got the amount of games right. I got the winner wrong, based off of my like of the Islanders. That is never a good choice, evidently. And Montreal, I picked to lose in 5 games to Vegas. They won in six. So, let's get started with this one and see how wrong I'll be after this one. Alright, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell as well to be notified when I drop new videos. Alright, let's get started. Alright, the top scorers from the regular season. What this really tells us is who were the main scorers for these teams. Grant, Tampa was missing Stamkos for a lot of the season and no Kucherov the entire season. So that affected their scoring. Montreal, definitely those top scorers are basically their top guys. I mean, in the playoffs, I think actually two of those three are the only ones that are top five. So, hmm. But yeah, it's fairly equal until you get to the third, fourth guy. That's when you see a drop off in point totals between these top fives. So those top three for Montreal played in line with the top three for Tampa, but after that, there was a drop-off. Alright, in the playoffs, though. Nikita Kucherov, def the top scorer of the entire playoffs. 5 goals, 22 assists for 27 points. Then you got uh, Braden Point with 20 points and 14 goals. Alex Kalorn and Steven Stamkos with 17. And Victor Hedman, granted, he has 1 goal, but 16 points. Sometimes out assists can outweigh goals. Just like Kucherov having no goals in that last round. I believe he had like 8 assists, so there you go. And Tyler Toffoli, top scorer for Montreal, 14 points. Definitely a scoring discrepancy between these two teams. Nick Suzuki, 13, and is technically still his rookie season. Grant, he played last year's playoffs, but it is still his rookie season. So, rookie with the scoring in this one. And another rookie, Cole Caulfield, 9 points in these playoffs so far. And Corey Perry in his second straight finals appearance against the Tampa Bay Lightning with his second different team. And that would be nine points for Corey Perry. And Yoel Armia and, and I want to say Mark Stahl against, not Mark Stahl, Eric Stahl, eight points each. So definitely a scoring discrepancy. And one fun thing I wanted to talk about on Tampa, Pat Maroon is in his third straight finals. He went there and won it with St. Louis. He went there and won it with Tampa last year, and now he's back there with Tampa this year. I'd say at this point, he's a good luck charm. That's kind of like Corey Stillman in the mid-2000s. Three straight finals. All right. Goalie-wise, during the regular season, definitely in favor of Vasilevsky. Uh, their backups barely played. And Carey Price missed part or half of the season, I'd say it was. And Jake Allen... Good at the beginning of the season, terrible at the end. So you're only going to see Price and Vasilevsky in this series, barring injury. Which, hopefully there isn't one because they take away from this series. So, like I said, the goalie matchup, Vasilevsky and Price. Only two play goalies that have played for these two teams so far. Vasilevsky, 12-6, 1.99 goals against average. 9.36 save percentage. Carey Price over there from Montreal, 12-5. 2.02 goals against average and a 934 save percentage. So the difference between these two teams, Price has lost one less game, a .003 goals against average in favor of Vasilevsky and a .002 save percentage in favor of Vasilevsky. I would say this is going to be an even matchup in the goaltending and it's going to be a fun goaltending series. If you don't like defensive hockey, don't watch because it will be defensive. All right, injury-wise, Jonathan Drouin for Montreal is the only injury they have. Yoel Armia is a game-time decision for the first game tonight, so keep an eye out for him. I'm sure he'll probably play as the finals. You, you don't miss those unless you're really, really hurt. And Jonathan Drouin, he's out indefinitely. From what I read, uh, Luke Richardson, who's the coach right now for Montreal because their normal coach is out due to positive COVID tests, Luke Richardson said that Drouin is, seeking, is getting the help that he needs. Which to me suggests either a mental or um, or substance issue, 
So hopefully he is getting the help he needs to make himself better and be back next season because it does not sound like he's playing this season in the finals. So hopefully he'll be back. And I think he played enough games. If they did win, his name would be on the cup anyways. So that's good news there. And the injury-wise for Tampa, nobody except for, of course, the two that traded for in the offseason, Gabrick and Nilsson, who were out all season and never expected to play for them. All right, last playoff round. Tampa Bay played in a war of a series against the Islanders, and it was a fun series to watch. And they're going to be in for this, I think, again this round. Montreal beat Vegas in six games. I'm not sure many people saw that coming. So, they seem to thrive as underdogs right now, so we'll see how this series goes. Previous playoff matchups, these two have played twice. That would be in 03-04, the year Tampa won the Cup. The first time they won the Cup. They beat Montreal in the second round in four games. Yes, it was a clean sweep, and it wasn't even a close series. Then in 2014-15, which I believe they made the finals and played LA that year. Is that the year they played LA? I want to say it was. Uh, they beat Montreal in the second round as well in six games. Closer matchup that time around. Much closer. And Montreal has, is two for eight in the playoffs career against Tampa. So Tampa is obviously eight and two. So history-wise would favor Tampa. But history-wise, Montreal has 20-odd some Stanley Cups. I think that favors them over the two Stanley Cup winning Tampa Bay Lightning. But Montreal's existed since the 1910s. I think they have a time advantage. Dark Horse for Tampa Bay. I'm going to say Yanni Gord. Because you know what? He's going to be tasked, tasked with shutting down to Foley is my assumption. And he has been fairly effective so far in these playoffs this year and last year. And I think he'll be effective again. And he chips in some offense here and there, which definitely helps this team. And for Montreal, Josh Anderson is who I'm picking because, honestly, he may have scored something in the last round, but he was mostly invisible to me. I didn't really notice him much in that Vegas series. So, I think he needs to add some more to this series. He needs to get some scoring going because he has not done much. So, look out for him. Who wins the Conn Smythe? I'm going with this new category because it's the finals. And who do I think is going to get the Conn Smythe for each team? If Tampa wins, I think it's going to be Nikita Kucherov. Guy was injured all year, came in, has 27 points to lead the entire playoffs. A beast of an offensive player. If he had played the regular season, probably would have been up there with McDavid with 100 points probably. My assumption. Guess. But I'm going to guess that's where he probably would have been. He didn't play, of course, in the regular season, and there's controversy about changing the rule because of Tampa's circumvention of the cap. Up to you if you support it or not. I'm leaving that to you all to you all to decide. Now for Montreal. I'm gonna say Carey Price. He has been amazing in these playoffs. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised either if he ended up winning it, even if they lost. He's had that good of playoffs. And it's the best playoffs he's ever played, and he's played some really good playoffs in the past. Granted, they have not made the finals with him, but he still played some really good playoffs in the past. So, if this is his best one, who knows? I mean, this team could win it all, and it could be the first Canadian team to do it since Montreal in 1993. Since this is only the second or the third Canadian team to make the finals in the last, since 1993. It's been a long, long drought for Canada. Now let's see who I think is going to win this series. Sorry, Canada. I know Canadian fans out there. I'm sorry. But Montreal, they're equal defensively, equal goaltending against Tampa. But Tampa has the offensive advantage. They're definitely a better offensive team. Uh, penalty kill wise, the, these two are about the same. Power play wise, I would say there's an advantage to Tampa, so that's the reason I'm picking Tampa. But I think it's going to be a seven game war. It's going to be a fun series to watch. So make sure to watch. I mean, I've been wrong before. I picked Tampa in one of their three series so far. Been right with that at one, but wrong with the air two, obviously. Montreal, I've not picked a single time, and they've won every single time. So 
Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being Montreal, but I'm still sticking with Tampa because I used to live in Florida, and it'd be nice to see Tampa win again. But it'd also be nice to see Montreal get another cup. What would that be? Would that be 25? Why am I drawing a blank how many cups they have right now? I want to say it's 24 they have currently. A full quarter of 100 at that point if they win. Hmm. Still, either way, it's going to be a fun series. Make sure to watch, and... If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can catch more of my content. And also make sure to like the video because it helps the video get out there more so more people can watch it. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. In which case, I have my mock draft for the Seattle Kraken team, which is going to be in two videos, by the way, because it was taking way too long. First video, I'm going to go over who I am protecting on each team and second video is going to be on who is going to be drafted by the Seattle Kraken so make sure to catch that and then I'm going to be continuing tomorrow my series on all the teams that have been eliminated and, or did not make the playoffs because I believe I just finished New Jersey so I'm on to who was fifth worst uh, I forget who the fifth worst team is but I am moving in a reverse order from bottom to top so Make sure to watch those and keep an eye out for those as well. And if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe, like I said, and hit that notification bell as well. And also, let me know in the comments what you think. If you agree with the predict prediction, if you don't, let me know what yours is. And other than that, I will see you all next video. Bye, everybody.